Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Rachel of Gathered Plans. It is 9 p.m. currently while I am doing this voiceover and I am drinking a cup of tea. <laughs> I love this local tea. I don't think it's, I don't know if it's local, but um, I found out about this tea company at a local like festival, so I adore them. They are so delicious, naturally sweet, um, and I believe this specific one I'm drinking is from South Africa, so really delicious, but anyways, I just wanted to share that. It's kind of nice to just wind down a little bit, and it's caffeine-free, so or decaf, so it's really nice. Um, okay, first of all, I'm obsessed with the bottom washi section here. I tried something different by excluding the top strip and instead using this beautiful floral strip from Sadie Stickers as well. By the way, this kit is, I think, her April subscription mystery kit, so... I adore it. I think I was kind of going between the February and March mystery kits as well. I love almost any kit with tea or something like that to mark Mother's Day. So as you can tell, this is Mother's Day week and I really loved and resonated with the quote and I thought that was a really cute quote. I don't remember it exactly because I don't have my planner in front of me. Terrible, I know. But um, you'll probably see it shortly. And it's just really adorable. I love these. I like in stickers, not in real life because I'm highly allergic. <laughs> but I think they are my favorite spring sticker. Um, the bee trails, the individual bees, they're just so adorable. The honeycombs, like it's just super cute. And I really wanted to continue. Oh, there's my big head. <laughs> I really wanted to continue using um, bees. So I loved using them this spring. As you can see, the honeycomb there. And I loved this add-on that she had with the mystery kit, which had a ton of different bees and honeycombs and things like that. So anyways, um, I got a lot of questions about what divider I used here, but I used the Falling Leaves um, trim from her shop. And I think this was like the washi trim. It was a part of the Sakura, I think is what it was. But it's also from Sadie Stickers. And anyways, I kind of got off track there, but I really wanted to use this kit for Mother's Day week one. Mother's Day is in spring. Um, secondly, my mom's birthday is in April, and um, I feel like it's such a great representation of, you know, she's an, a spring baby just like me. And um, yeah, I really adored that there was like an apron in this kit. Um, I grew up with my mom cooking, so like cooking together was always a big part of my childhood. And yeah, like I think I, I think I would not be a good cook to this day if I wasn't for my mom, <laughs> to be honest with you. <laughs> um, so anywho, I also wanted to use these mini tacos where I ended up trimming them a little bit more so they can fit in there nicely. That's from the Gathered Layers collection. By the way, those are permanently in the Panda Bird Design shop. Um, this is a collection I collabed with Jess of Panda Bird Design. And then we also currently still have a $2 Tuesday of these beautiful day covers I did share it on my Instagram, so be sure to check that out, but they're transparent matte day covers, and it was so fun layering florals behind them. It just was incredibly beautiful, and we came up with a washi, or sorry, a date cover strip design. That way, it's just one individual strip, and you don't have to put different, um, like, seven date covers down. You just put down two strips, and... Um, I don't know. I just love the concept. <laughs> I talked a little bit more about it over on my um, Instagram stories and I did save them in my gathered um, plans and Panda Bird Design collab highlights. So, bef so gosh, I can't talk. So definitely check that out. Um, <laughs> I am like trying to read the quote while talking so I can reference it, but I'm like losing track of what I'm saying. But I think the quote is, life is the flower for which love is the honey. <laughs> And I just thought that was really cute and adorable. I'm obsessed with the sidebar I did here as well. Also tied in the shadow scallops, um, layered doily um, shadow scallops from the Gathered Layers collection in the month section up there with the apron. I thought that was super cute and adorable. Um, okay, so I'm super sore, you guys. <laughs> it's just so random. But um, before I proceed, I do have a code with Sadie Stickers. It's Rachel20. And my new freebie actually has like bees and fences and waves, um, some specific seasonal things. But hopefully we change our freebie in like the next six to eight months or ten months. I don't know how long, but I'm sure we'll have a chance to change it up anyway. So I'm not really worried about it, but I feel like you can totally save the stickers for next season as well. I, I told you I'm just obsessed with the bees. I just could not resist. Um, I think it's just ironic because like 
um, I'm allergic to them. Like I have an EpiPen and everything, but you know, it's fine. It's fine. They're so cute on stickers. You know, it's a love hate relationship. Um, okay. Back to what I was saying. So I'm incredibly sore and I have a massage scheduled tomorrow and I'm, I'm really glad that I schedule my massages on Mondays and it really does set the week for me. Um, it, it makes a big difference for me because I work from home and I'm, I have a lot of autonomy with my job, which I love. So I pretty much make my own schedule as a project manager and I just, I schedule my own meetings. I, you know, book up my own time to work on my projects, but all that good stuff. I, of course, stay on top of my projects. So um, I try to be as responsible as possible, right? But I am so glad I'm able to book Monday massage appointments um, because it, it really just relaxes me for the rest of the week. And especially, I, I kind of forgot I had one tomorrow, but I'm so glad um, they called to confirm and remind me. But I'm so sore. I've been working out pretty consistently and I'm proud of it, but I'm just super, super sore. And I think it's also like the way I've been falling asleep. Like <laughs> it is not good for um, my back, but like my shoulders and my, my neck and that stuff. But you know, <laughs> it's fine. I, I will survive. <laughs> um, okay. So Monday, I just marked having a meeting, nothing new there. Um, so this was the week of Mother's Day week, the week before my birthday. And I think I just marked coffee um, and I met my mentee this day. So that was a pretty interesting and cool week. <laughs> interesting because I'm still trying to navigate through the whole mentoring um, program. And as you guys know, like I only started in this job in last October and I got offered, I was attempt to hire, but I got offered the permanent job in um, February. So I'm just so honored and proud that they would even ask me to be a mentor. So like I, I'm, I'm glad I'm doing something right. Um, but I also got even more great news, <laughs> even more great news, better news, even more better news, whatever. I got really good news just last week. You know, I know we're already in June and I'm still like planning in May. It's fine. Um, at, at least I'm not like a million weeks behind. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I could be, but... I'm like, I need to stay on top of the stuff. Otherwise I will never get it done. So, you know, no shade to those that are behind on plans. You know, I just joke cause I have some, um, planner friends that I know are so behind on spreads. <laughs> um, but you know, this is supposed to be fun. Like get to it when you can, if you want to, like, no, no worries. But so like I was saying, I got some really great news last week and the trajectory is just up from here. And I'm just so like elated. I have no words. Like, I just feel like everything is falling into place and I'm so so happy like I feel like I can breathe um it's just I don't know how to describe it it's just a very satisfying feeling when you finally get to a like a successful place and um in your career and you're just like proud and you're just hearing nothing but positive stuff it's it's very reassuring and I'm just so so happy but Okay, we watched Moon Knight on Monday, and then on top of that, Greg got me an early birthday gift. Um, well, it was like part one of a couple gifts. Um, so he got me a All Blacks rubber duck for my Jeep. <laughs> if you guys, I think, remembered, I talked about how the whole Jeep wave and um, duck duck Jeep, it's a whole thing for people that own Jeep Wranglers or just Jeeps, I guess. Um, but yeah, he um, got me number 10, which is Dan Carter's number. and it's so cute. It's a little bit larger, so it doesn't just fit on the dash. I, I do need to stick it on or something, but I was actually just thinking of keeping it like at my work desk because I just think it's so adorable <laughs> and so precious. Um, and it's the all blacks, the rugby team. So our favorite, um, what did I mark at the bottom of Monday? I don't know. So on Tuesday I did a UPS drop off, had meetings. I talked to, I think Alicia, um, I used another one of the scallop circle doily thingies to mark watching American horror story. Um, what did I mark at the bottom of Monday? I don't know. It's going to bother me. Um, <laughs> anyways, this is going to be a very rambly voiceover. So apologies, but I know that some of you do enjoy my rambly voiceovers. I just kind of, it's like talking to you, you know, even though I'm talking to my computer. <laughs> um, what did I do? Break. Oh, okay. So at the end of Monday, I did take a break from social media. I think I took like a week off of not getting on social media at all, which was very very therapeutic i highly recommend doing like a social media break every once in a while um this is not going to be the first or last time that i do this i will probably try to do this you know more often 
um, when I can, right? Because I know social media is so important for like PR and of course, like the business I have with Tay and things like that. So when things are ramping up, like I know I have to be a lot more mindful of that. But I think it's also so incredibly healthy, emotionally, mentally, everything to take a break from social media. I don't have personal social media. Like I don't have Facebook, Twitter, a personal Instagram account. I don't have a TikTok. <laughs> I know I watch like Instagram reels and YouTube shorts, whatever. And they're all pretty much like the same stuff at this point. But I think TikToks are more, um, I guess, streamlined, right? So it's also just catchier to say. <laughs> but I I just didn't even touch my my like YouTube. Um, and actually, I think I did touch like YouTube to like watch like my street food stuff. But I wasn't like engaging with anybody. Like I wasn't talking to people, writing comments. I wasn't um, on like planner Instagram so yeah and thanks Tay she is the best she had my back because I know um I think some people <clears throat> were like asking questions and I wasn't responding so she was just like the sweetest by saying like you know uh Rachel's taking a break or whatever um I know she might have said that to a couple of people but she is truly a bestie because she had my back through and through but um it was so important to have that break from myself I was kind of at a very I mean although like things are going really well like career-wise and stuff like I personal stuff like you know, that's, it's life, like things happen. So we were just dealing with so many things um, in our family and I just needed a break. So I was so glad to just not add an extra layer of, um, I, I don't know how to describe it, but like the need to have to talk to people and um, spark up conversation and looking at things that just weren't giving me fulfillment for a while, just because I just wasn't um, in a good place emotionally and mentally. Um, and I needed to dedicate my mental health truly to my family so um and to myself like I really needed to just give myself some grace and time alone and love on me for a little bit and my family so that was that um I know that I went off on a tangent there I try not to be like overly personal on you know my in my um videos and stuff like that but the reality is like I'm a person <laughs> like I think it's kind of hard to not talk about some personal things and I think we share so much of our lives on here with like our plans and stuff like that. Of course, I try to keep really private stuff. Like I, I, I might not even write it down until like I'm off camera or um, I might just not sh choose to share it and keep it in my like scrapbook here in my planner. But um, we do share a lot of what we do. Like we talk about our families and our careers, our lives, stuff like that. And, um, you know, I appreciate that you guys are super kind and respectful of it. It means a lot to me. So it's really nice to have a community like this. But anyways, on Thursday, I marked Cinco de Mayo. I thought that was super cute with like a margarita glass from White Deer Stationery. I marked my meetings. I don't know what I marked at the end of the day. So sorry. Um, I did take this Friday off because my birthday was the following Monday. But I decided to take that Friday off instead. Um, Greg had a really beautiful birthday reservation, um, like dinner reservation planned for us that night. So I, it was nice to have the whole day to just do whatever I wanted, like planned, relaxed, grabbed like my birthday Starbucks, um, stuff like that. Um, cause I think at this point I had some friends already sending me like gift cards. Um, and I also had like a chiropractic appointment. So that was like really nice to take care of myself and just catch up on spreads, catch up on cleaning. Like I know, like, why would you want to clean like on your birthday? Whatever. My, my thing is like, it's a part of my life. Like I'm not going to, just because it's my birthday, I'm not going to like not clean. But to me it was helping like my mental clarity to have like a clean and tidy home. So it was nice to have a day to just focus on my chores and things I kind of neglect throughout the week. So I know. <laughs> so I had the day off there. I wanted to mark that with a scallop um, doily from the Gathered Layers collection. And then I had a Cairo appointment. Um, I thought that was a really appropriate um, icon from Crafts by Towie to use. And I know like it wasn't a therapy appointment, but you know, it works. Um, oh, on the bottom of Thursday, I think I just marked organizing my office, um, grab Starbucks this day. All of my scripts are from Paper Trail Plans. And then we had uh, breakfast. Oh, we picked up a breakfast burrito from a local place that we love. It's just down the street from us. And so good. I love them. <laughs> so, so amazing. She's phenomenal. Um, and then, you know, the birthday celebration that night, we went to a really beautiful restaurant on a rooftop. And we just had some, you know, drinks. It was really, really nice. Very high end. And, you know, Greg spoiled me, which I really appreciated. And it was really fun. So just 
got ready and then just took care of that, um, took care of that, like, <laughs> went out for that kind of stuff. Sorry, I'm, like, getting delusional. It's 9.30 now. Um, okay, I'm also loving layering with the foiled florals, the Sakura trims, and then putting, like, the colored florals above it. I think that's really beautiful. I've always seen Tay do this, and I love the way she does it. It's just so gorgeous. So I really try to remember to do that every once in a while to play with foiled florals in addition to the colored florals it gives it so much character and dimension it's just so so pretty um okay I'm doing the same thing here at the bottom as well so I have been kind of just putting stickers down and then writing let me know if you have a preference do you prefer when I like put down a sticker in like a section and then write and then just continuously do that or do you like not care like is it okay like if I put everything down and then write down I ask this because a lot of my, a lot, my preference when I watch videos is I love to see people write in their planner. Like that's just my preference, right? Um, ever since I, the longest time of watching plan with me videos, I loved watching planners that would write in addition to putting stickers down. Oh my gosh, my hair is all up in this. I think my hair was like in a bun and I was like really trying to sit up close because <laughs> like Lauren says, like the planner is like really uh, far above and like I can only scooch so much <laughs> into the desk. Um, but anyways, so yeah, I don't know. Let me know if you have a preference. Typically, I, f I find that I like to see the spacing and what I'm doing. So I put down, I've been putting down the stickers first for most columns and then I'll like write. But I especially do that on Wednesday because the coil's in the way and then consecutively also on Sunday because I don't want my hand to like hang off of the planner. Seriously, this is like planner girl problems. Like Honestly, if you don't do this, you're probably like, what is she talking about? <laughs> um, but you know, it's fine. It's fine. So on Sunday, I marked, um, what else did I mark? Oh, no. So Saturday, we had um, a breakfast brunch, a birthday breakfast brunch at my house. <laughs> That's what we did. So we celebrated the weekend before and I like to do it, you know, not on the same day as Mother's Day because my birthday sometimes falls on the same weekend as Mother's Day. And I, I know a lot of people, you know, love to celebrate their moms you know of course they should so I try to plan like if I am going to do any birthday celebrations like at least the day before or the weekend before or something like that so then I just marked Mother's Day on a Sunday of course and I'm pretty much done so here are the leftover stickers thank you so much for watching this video I really appreciate it I hope that you had a great Mother's Day and take care talk to you next time bye Get my name in Someone keeps blocking my way